Hey, I was going to talk to you a little bit today why uh, most people find that their mortgages or their mortgage loan processes get uh, refused or declined. So many mortgage refusals are the result of poor or low appraisals. Uh, many home sales have been called off at the last minute after a low appraisal caused the lender to you know, not approve the mortgage loan. Before lenders finance the home for purchases, they almost always require an appraisal to be certain that the home is really worth the asking price. Uh, this has left many, not only buyers, but sellers alike high and dry and is extra infuriating for the sellers. First of all, the sellers were counting on the sale going through and being able to move on with their life, you know, whether it is a, a relocation or another home purchase. What they were not counting on was having to do some very costly repairs or upgrades that they probably didn't have the money to do anyway. They certainly didn't have the time and didn't want to be inconvenienced by those repairs that they probably didn't even know that they needed. You know, so at any rate, it definitely cuts into the expected profit the sellers were expecting to receive. Worse than that, it doesn't even affect their real estate sales commissions at all. Your agent says the house will sell for X amount of money, but what they don't tell you is that you will have to spend a lot, you know, to get that amount. Sellers will still pay exactly what they were going to from the beginning for their real estate commissions. This is a big whammy to your bottom dollar uh, when it boils right down to the end. So one of the mortgage appro approval processes, uh, standard components is the property appraisal. Lenders use appraisals to mitigate their risk from risky loans or low interest loans. They don't want to pay that. Many lenders use the appraisal similar to a home inspection in that they are gauging whether the home is in good condition. You know, houses in poor condition create a lot of risk for the lender if sold at too high a price. So the bad thing about appraisals is that they are at the discretion of the appraiser. Appraisers, they're, they're people too, and you know, one may see one thing wrong and another may see something else. They also may see different value in one thing to another. You know, many home sellers have been the victim of many a bad appraisal. So the ones that I've seen suffer the most from bad appraisals is home rehabbers. Many appraisers just can't seem to justify a huge increase in home value for a home that just a few months ago, you know, what, it didn't appraise for nearly what it should appraise for now. But what they don't take into account is that the home has been completely redone. You know, so low property appraisals are the most common reason for mortgage loans to be disapproved. Uh, when you apply for a mortgage loan, its approval will depend on the home you want to buy being appraised for at least the loan amount. They're generally looking for more, but it needs to appraise for at least the loan amount. Professional real estate appraisers are trained to consider you know, the repair condition of the property uh, that they're appraising. Property appraisers aren't full bore home inspections per se, but mortgage lenders consider appraisals as sufficient to determine property repair conditions. Uh, uh, a property's repair condition is especially important in lending involving federally backed mortgages where the safety, security, soundness of a home is uh, very important. Outside of a property rehab type mortgage, if the home you're buying is in poor condition, your loan may be at least temporarily disapproved. Uh, and I say temporary, temporarily because they're going to want you to go and make some uh, major repairs. So the major reason for the lenders to look at this information is for insurance purposes. Lenders will require insurance on the home for at least the replacement cost. If the insurance company can't or won't insure the property, the lender's surely not going to lend on it. Okay. So some of the larger items they're going to be looking for are uh, 
most importantly, they look at the roofs. You know, uh, roofs over 20 years or not having at least five years left on them, they're, they're more than likely not going to lend on that. So there's uh, really no way of telling how old a roof is just by looking at it or how much life's left in it just by taking a look at it. So what they're going to do is they're going to go back and look at the last permit issued for the replacement of the roof and they're going to go, they're going to take that time frame and kind of evaluate what's going to be left as far as life in the roof. Uh, other damage will more than likely be taken into consideration, such as, you know, like uh, hail damage or wind damage, if it's very obvious, you know, missing shingles or, or bent metal or whatever the case might be. So many inspectors and appraisers know that homes built between 1969 and 1979 have a very good probability of having aluminum wiring in the house. You'll be hard pressed to get insurance on a home that has aluminum wiring. Thus, you know, norm, no mortgage loan, they're not going to lend on it. This could be an expensive repair if unqualified electricians are called to do the replacement. It could lead to, you know, a lot of uh, sheetrock damage and repair and painting if that happens. You know, it's something that you have to take into consideration. So not just the wiring being replaced, but some sheetrock and painting as well. So another thing that won't be insured are uh, homes that were built with EFIS. EFIS is E-I-F-S. It's an acronym for Exterior Insulation and Finish System. Uh, it's basically synthetic stucco. EFIS is a, 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 a foam applied to the exterior of the home that they apply stucco over. So the problems that they've found in the last 15 years or so is that it holds moisture and it lends itself to uh, rot and wood destroying organisms, you know, uh, termites, wood boring beetles, things of that nature. Cobra flood zones bring another dimension of uh, loan disapproval. You know, COBRA, C-B-R-A, is, is an acronym that stands for Coastal Barrier Resources Act, all right? Uh, and it protects coastal areas that serve as barriers against wind and tidal forces, you know, such as barrier islands and the beaches, of course. Um, so homes in these areas will generally not be insured. And once again, you know, no insurance, no mortgage loan. So some of the items, other items anyways, other items most appraisers are probably going to look at is uh, water heaters over 15 years old. They're, not, they're just not going to lend against that. Polybutylene or lead pipes, they're not going to lend on that. Old appliances or missing appliances, things like that nature, just certain ones, they're going to look at that. Windows that don't have impact resistant glass or, or, or things of that nature. Uh, unpermitted additions. And that's just to name a few of the items. Another thing they're going to be looking at is for any foundational or major structural faults. You know, they're not going to lend on that because they cannot insured for that. It's just not worth their while. So as you can see, it may be di very difficult to sell your home if your buyers are seeking to get a mortgage, depending on which uh, one they're trying to get. So no matter your real estate best intentions, your real estate agent, if, if he could be in having the bet, your best intentions in mind, it may not be possible to sell your home. It may sit on the market for a very, very long time uh, for the simple fact it has a low appraisal value. And that doesn't take into consideration some of the more stringent uh, uh, mortgage loans such as FHA and VA. They're, they're very stringent. They're going to be looking at a lot of things and they're going to be picking a lot of things apart. So oftentimes a cash buyer or a real estate rehabber is actually your best bet in selling your home. They have the experience and expertise to take on these kinds of projects and they, they have the cash to spend, you know, and they're looking to make a profit. So they do not base their offers on an appraisal. That's not what they're after. They're going to go in, they're going to look at the, the uh, 
market value and they're going to look at the amount of work involved to make the home sellable and, and, and profitable and uh, they're going to make their offer based on that evaluation. Overall, the convenience and time frame in which they can make the purchase uh, makes their discounted offers very attractive to many sellers looking to just sell and move on without having to deal with you know any repairs or letdowns you know you sit there a long time hoping that this 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 home loan is going to go through and because of the appraisal you're let down and you're held up for a, a long period of time so for more information, please see our other videos. I would highly suggest watching another video I have recently produced entitled, you know, So You Want to Sell Your House. Uh, it's going to leave you with a lot of great information about selling your home and what some a uh, couple different ways to want to sell your home for the most amount of money. So uh, I'm going to leave that link in the bottom of this post or uh, it might be in the top uh, as, a, as a link as well. So just check it out. It'll, it'll be in this poster. It's going to be in the comments. So I hope you got a lot of valuable information out of this and I hope it gave you a little something, a little food for thought moving forward.